Good evening, Allie. An emotional day, an emotional service, all remembering the man who got his start here at Harrisburg Fire Station 2 in Allison Hill. Lieutenant Denny DeVoe got his start, or was the leader, rather, of Squad 8, the Kings of the Hill, as they refer to themselves. And Lieutenant DeVoe, to his friends and family, was the King of Kings. Lieutenant Dennis Denny DeVoe. He was the best of this heroic breed of men and women who confront danger on a daily basis so that we don't have to. Father, brother, husband, and hero. Today we award Lieutenant Dennis H. DeVoe the award of heroism. Well done, good and faithful servant. At the Harrisburg Forum, firefighters come by the hundreds, brothers in arms, to pay their respects. There was no task that Lieutenant DeVoe couldn't do. And remember the better times. Most days we'd play the same game where I would efficiently pull up next to him on the highway. I would flip him off. Moments later, my phone would ring, and it would be Denny to tell me about some jerk he just encountered on the highway. <laughs> Denny DeVoe joined the Harrisburg Fire Bureau March 11th, 1996. 21 years later, to the day, his life was taken. Was lost, but now. Gone, but never forgotten. But now I see. They came to honor one of their own. Fire service is a brotherhood. We are our brother's keeper. This is basically when we see a lot of our friends, unfortunately, is at funerals. Sometimes you could go a couple years without seeing people, but uh, this is unfortunately basically one of the biggest reunions. Harrisburg Bureau of Fire Lieutenant Dennis DeVoe died after he was struck by an alleged drunk driver on his way to a call. And on the day of his funeral, firefighters from Baltimore County to Boston and across Pennsylvania answered the call to stand together in a sea of solidarity. We all mourn for each other and we all do our best to support each other. Unfortunately, we, we've gone through similar uh, tragedies uh, up in Boston and members from these departments down here have always made the trip up. It's our duty, you know, and, and, we, and we do not take it lightly, we take it serious to support um, not only the community, but that department that is affected by, by, by this tragedy. Lieutenant DeVoe's son and daughter lead the procession in front of their father's fellow brothers and sisters in firefighting. It means something to, to be able to come and pay our respects and, and show the family and, and the home department well, what that individual meant to all of us. I met him once, yeah, great, great guy, you know. Basically one of those people that I uh, can't say anything bad about. He was just a stand-up guy all around. Always had a smile on his face, always wanted to help somebody out. And uh, I really feel for his family and for this department. Saying goodbye to a fellow firefighter lost in the line of duty is a sobering reminder for these emergency responders who put their lives on the line for others every day. Each one of us could face the same, uh, the same ending. It's the reality that uh, it could happen to any one of these guys at any given time. Seeing the family, hearing the bagpipes, uh, it just kind of sets in. In Harrisburg, Mark Roper, Fox 43 News.